What's going on guys, JPBDU here and once again I would like to thank you guys very much for watching my videos, watching and interacting with me when I go live and I just did hit 100 subs on YouTube so thank you very much for that. So starting from tomorrow I'm going to do a stream with face cam as well. So with that being said let's get on with our gameplay for today. So for this game I'm going first as well. I start by activating prank is place. Again guys, anytime you have prank is place, always start the game by activating prank is place, even if you have a combo starter card in your hand. This is because it lets you know whether your opponent has any hand traps or not, because they can chain link Ash Blossom to the prank is place or Maxi to the prank is place. Also, sometimes your opponent will choose to Ash Blossom your prank is place search, thinking that you don't have any starter cards in your hand. So it's a really good Ash Blossom Eater as well. So for this game, I'm going to go into a two card full combo. So I activate Pandemonium, go into Rocket Ride. Up till Doodle Doo, you guys know combo stays the same. So I activate my graveyard activations of the two prank hits that I haven't activated in the graveyard yet. And then Chain Block with Rocket Ride. Again, I do this because opponent could randomly Ash, Bloss uh, Ash Blossom me. Like, you never know if your opponent would randomly negate some card. So you always want to Chain Block. So using the two cards that I special, I go into Bawa Bark. And then using Bawa Bark plus Doodle Doo, I go into Roaster. Then I activate Rocket Ride, get my Bawa Bark plus the Doodle Doo back on the field, activate Doodle Doo, Tribute itself to get the Pandemonium plus a Prank is Monster back into my hand. I'll set down Pandemonium, activate Pranks, set down my Droplet, and then end my turn, which will allow me to recycle three cards from my graveyard and then draw into a card. So I draw into a skill drain pretty late, can't activate it now, so it's whatever. So my opponent's draw phase, I activate my Bawa Bark, target a copy of Dropsies plus Roxies in my graveyard, get them back to the hand. So now my prank hits cannot be destroyed by card effects. Sadly, he had a Kaiju, and he Kaijus my Roaster. So I activate Roaster and get myself a copy of Fanzies back into my hand. He activates his terraforming searches for a rock, war rock mountain fuel spell. So I have no idea what this deck does. This is the first time I'm going against this deck. So he kaiju'd me once, so I'm hoping that he does not have another kaiju. And I do want to pop my butler once he starts getting his cards on the field. So I read this card. This card, like I don't need to read the whole thing, it just says if this card is sent, sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one level 5 or higher war rock monster from your hand or deck. So this, th th basically it means like an unchained deck. If you kill this card by card effect, he will get to special out a card. That's it. So he specials out a level 7 card, war rock, some war rock monster. So I activate forbidden, right? I, so I could have activated my butler right here to pop his cards before he killed my uh, dropsies copy. I could have done that, but I choose not to do so because I wanted to pop his field after his battle phase was over so that any card that he summons off of this, like if, it's, if he manages to summon a big card that could go over my butler, like you never you never know what kind of monster they could summon. Right? I have no idea what this deck does, so I have no idea what kind of monster he could summon. So I pop his field after his battle phase was over. So it's not a misplay, I deliberately did that. So he specials out some other Warrock Skyler. So again, I'm not gonna read this card, but like it doesn't apply to me on my turn. So I top deck, he set down two cards and ends his turn, right? I top deck into a Harpy's Feather Duster. Like this was an insane top deck. Because I was wondering like what could I do to pop his back row somehow, try to get rid of his back row. So I Harpy's Feather Duster and it baits out its Solemn Judgment. Like he's forced to Solemn Judgment by Harpy's Feather Duster. So now I could make my play without hesitating. Like I could go into my play, kill him this turn. So I start Blink Climbing, activate Fanzies, Chain Block with my place in case he has an Ash Blossom in hand. Or in case he even has another Solemn Judgment or some Solemn Strike or something set on the field. So if he wants to use that, like I could Chain Block with my place. Go into my Doodle Doo, activate Lampsies, burn him for 500, special out Fanzies, go into my Nightmare. So with the Nightmare, I bounce his monster. Again, the reason why I select the monster is that it says during a battle phase in which your Earth Warrior Monster battles quick effect, you can target one level 5 or lower Warrior Monster in your graveyard special summon it. 
So he'll probably he would have probably ended up special summoning this so he could special summon again after that card would be destroyed. So I chose to bounce his monster over his back row set. So the, his back row set was infinite imperm. He imperms my butler, which does not mean anything to us. Like I'm not gonna use butler this turn. So I use the kaiju plus the nightmare to go into access, activate access, and then kill off his field spell, and then just go into battle phase and kill him that turn. So pretty easy, not too much complicated stuff. Like I had I had no idea what I was going into in th when I was playing that deck. It was a pretty good deck when I looked into it, but anyways. That's going to be the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys do like this, comment, and videos. And once again, thank you for letting me hit 100 subs on YouTube. Thank you very much, guys. This is JPWDL signing off for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace!